Hi, I'm Brad with BigFamilyHomestead.com and today I have an awesome little cool trick video on how you can make your seed starting pots for free. Okay, starting your own plants from seed. First of all, it's not that hard to do. I've got other videos on how to, to actually seed the plants, but I started looking around uh, at different ways that we could save money in every little aspect of it. Because th the reality is if you've got a tomato plant, let's just say a tomato plant. Now, let's say you saved your seed from a previous year. You, you found the biggest, fattest, juiciest tomatoes and you've saved those seeds. Well, that seed doesn't cost you anything but just a little bit of time. Well, then I got to thinking, all right, seeds, if they're negligible or pennies at best, then what's the next cost? Well, soil. Well, what if you got worms, you know, and worm tea and all that? There's another video for that. But let's say that that doesn't cost you much. You're making your own compost. And once again, it's just time. And then, okay, what after that? Well, then you've got those little plastic planting pots. Well, what if we could figure out a way to do those free? And so that's what today's video is on. I'm going to show you how to make completely cool biodegradable pots that won't cost you anything, keeps that money, those Benjamins, yeah, in your pocket. So here we, here we, here we go. All right, so as we get cooking, here is one of our completed seed starting free pots. And uh, you gotta love it, man. This is great. Free. Okay, for this project, all you really need is several strips of newspaper cut into about six inch widths here. You need a scissors to do the snipping. Uh, you need your uh, soil mix, whatever you have. I actually have another video of how we did it, so I'm not gonna belabor that. You need a tray to put all this stuff in. Boom, tray. And then you need something about this size, circular. I went with hot sauce because doggone it, well, unfortunately it's not Frank's Red Hot, but when this stuff goes on sale for 75 cents, it's close enough and I like a deal. So anyway, you need something about this width, which is about two and a half to three inches across. And I'm gonna show you how we actually make these seed pots right now. So basically all you do is you get your circular device. It could even be a square, but the circles seem to work better for us. You literally just go ahead and lay it down. You're gonna leap, make sure that there's overlapping, you know, uh, about an inch and a half of overlap that's gonna get folded in. You roll it on. Oh man, look at the technical ability. His origami skills are off the charts. You get it like that. Doesn't even have to be perfect, nothing at all. Just start folding it in. This is kind of how I wrap Christmas presents, which is horrible. <laughs> kind of try to mash it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna let the more difficult part go to my wife. You just fold that in like a little sock. Roll it down like a sock. That helps it so it doesn't come undone. I'm gonna zoom it, zoom in. Here we go. Check this out. Just kind of roll it over on itself. Just like that. Now, it doesn't look like much right now, but when you go ahead and fill it up with your dirt, which we will do right now next, it kind of helps press out the sides. You hold it from the bottom. This is kind of an important thing, part to it. You hold it the bottom. Let me see that, huh? You hold it from the bottom. See our hands there? That way, when you put the dirt in, it's gonna kind of shore everything up all at once. And I don't know why she's wrestling that with that bucket, but whatever. In you go. All I can see is arm. Nothing but net, sister. <laughs> it's video. Sorry. It's video. Come on. Help me help you. Help me help you. She's scowling at me so hard right now. You want to see? <laughs> All right. So check it out. That is a done pot. Is a work of art. Check it out. Let me see. Let me see. Bring it over here. There we go. And that's it. Free, free, free. Now, one thing that I do need to mention is when you go ahead and water these guys, you, um, you're gonna not dump water on the top because what'll happen is it'll kinda get all bleh, it'll come apart on you, it's nasty, bleh. But basically what you do is you water from the bottom. And what I mean by that is you don't pour the water here. You, you leave a space and you fill up your tray and it, the water will come up. And I'm gonna show you that here in just thumbs. Whoa, where am I? One minute. All right, now one little thing that I, I kind of picked up as I was going along. Now, as you're rolling up your, um, your seed starting pot, 
first of all, make sure that you give that enough room, but check this out. When you actually roll it, try to keep it tight, kind of pull it towards yourself. Now here's the thing. This little flappy here, this I figured out, if you fold this in as your corner the first, it seems to stay together a little tighter. And like that. And then I take the whole thing and kind of push it in there and twist this around. It kind of helps the fold go down a little bit nicer. So then I pass this off to my wife who does her thing and then everybody wins. Okay, so we've got everything seated up, we've got everything labeled, and now we're gonna water. Now, one thing about the watering, you gotta make sure you do not water from the top because this is gonna soak all that stuff. It's gonna go up into your plants through the newspaper and the soil. It's gonna, get, it's gonna go right up in there. And another thing too, make sure that you don't use chlorinated water. You don't want any nasty, wasty chemicals up in there. And we are off to the races. I'm gonna get a close up real quick here, but you can see it's going up quickly. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, see how the water's just cruising right up through there? I mean, it's literally only been 15, 20 seconds, so you can see it's gonna be really great. All right, so now all we have to do is get these pots in the light, and they are gonna start growing, and it's gonna be awesome. Matter of fact, we did a video on how we seed started uh, only five days ago, and check this out. See those little guys? Only five days, tomatoes, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, all kinds of goodies. Yeehaw! So there it is, easy to do, free, free wins, yes. And you know what, I mean, think about it. How much does your seed cost? Less than pennies when you really boil it down, or even if you've saved your seed from last year, I mean, negligible. I mean, you're talking just time, right? So when you consider the fact that you can get a tomato plant for pennies, if that, seed starting pots for free, and you could turn around and sell that plant for two, three, four dollars, depending on where you're at, or even better, if you decided to grow the tomatoes and sell the tomatoes, then save your seeds. I mean, when you think about it, you can make a ton of money off of something that didn't cost much, if at all. So please, if you like the video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Oh yeah, makes me smile, see? Anyway, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.